Now, Chicago's newest mascot is about to have a brand new name thanks to votes from our community. There are much more is the Urban Park Eagle Naming Contest is Shamas Toomey, a publisher and co-founder of Black Club Chicago. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. So what led you guys to come up with this contest and what made you decide to name this eagle? <laughs> well, uh, we started getting reports. Uh, one of our readers told us uh, over the weekend that they had spotted a eagle on the Chicago River, on the north branch of the Chicago River, right about between Irving and Montrose. Um, so uh, we checked it out, and, uh, you know, the experts say that we're seeing more and more eagles uh, in the region. Uh, they, they fly south here. Uh, apparently, this is uh, spring break for them uh, when the rivers <laughs> freeze up uh, up north. So uh, we're seeing more and more of them, and uh, we decided to uh, to see if we could get a name for this thing. We we have some history with uh, naming the animals. Our block club readers named uh, the Humboldt Park alligator uh, Chance the Snapper a couple of years ago. <laughs> Chance so, the Snapper, I like uh, that. <laughs> we went back, yeah, we went back to the uh, to the well and uh, asked our readers to uh, suggest names and then to vote on some of the most popular uh, names that were suggested. Now, a lot of people who've lived here for quite some time know the old Eagle Man commercials from the 90s, which we did dig up, by the way. So what was it about these things that stuck in your mind and played a role in this contest? Well, I was pulling for uh, the Eagle Man myself. Uh, this <laughs> is uh, a great old commercial, and, uh, you know, uh, you're about to see the uh, giant Eagle Man um, sort of inexplicably uh, drop a large egg on top of this car uh -huh. in the hopes Remember of this. them getting yeah, from car insurance. <laughs> uh, Eagle insurance is still around on the on the northwest side, but uh, so I, you know, I thought Eagle Man was going to win. It was in the uh, it was in the lead up until uh, I would say about the 11th hour last night in the naming contest. So, what other kind of wild and crazy names uh, did you guys get that maybe didn't win? Well, uh, some people also went back to the well and came up with uh, Chance the Flapper um, <laughs> or uh, Chance the Raptor. Um, there was also uh, Sorry Lightfoot um, <laughs> was up there. Uh, John Baptiste Point du Sable Lakeshore Eagle uh, was sort of That's a, a uh, sarcastic one. <laughs> um, but uh, that one that one got a little bit of support, but uh, not as much as uh, the winner uh, that was named the uh, 33rd Ward Balderman. So we've elected a new uh, Balderman uh, on the northwest side. Um, yeah, I, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, looking at the results, it looked like there might have been some ballot stuffing uh, in, the, in the last hour or so. So but, now um, the big I reveal, guess... for sure. So we're not going to keep people waiting. So what exactly is the, is the name and uh, what's your reaction to this new name? Well, the new name is the 33rd word Balderman, um, <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, you know, interesting. Uh, we love our politics in Chicago. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, it was uh, it was a, a late winner. It surged into the finish. And, um, you yeah, know, like I said, I I wouldn't be surprised if there was a little bit of uh, ballot stuffing in the in the 11th hour. Some uh, some eager people uh, uh, late night were uh, voting furiously for it. And I I guess uh, I guess that's what we should expect if you're going to uh, elect a new uh, balderman in Chicago, that there might be some uh, uh, some some uh, work behind the scenes, let's say. Balderman stuffing the ballots for sure. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.